Hello everybody, it's so nice to see you all. I'm going to introduce myself first of all. I am Susie Berry and I run Serene Senses. And every week so far in my course I've been doing a different meridian. And today is all about large intestine and large intestine is all about letting go. So I hope that you've come to my class today with the hopes of finding out how to let go. Okay. So with that in mind, I'm going to begin um, by putting off my phone because I just got a call and I've just decided I'm going to let go of any distractions and um, if you want to you can do the same because letting go of being somebody who you have to be right now is not really important. Okay. So in this current moment, while you are following this class with me, I want you all to know that right now, nobody wants anything, and nobody needs anything, and there's nobody that you have to be if you've chosen to be here with me. And now, just put all those worries out the door, set yourself down, and give yourself a bit of time to look after yourself. I'm going to be teaching you different exercises from Eden Energy Medicine and a couple of useful stretches and some acupressure work. So I hope you're all willing to learn with me and we're going to start off with massaging your thighs. Okay, so I'm going to stand myself up so I can sit back here so you can see exactly where I'm massaging. So you have large intestine neurolymphatics they come right down the side of your thigh and as a massage therapist I work with these points quite regularly and most people will say that they tend to be a little bit sore. If they are sore sadly that means that you probably need them so work them little and often okay and you're gonna start off at your knee just bring your, your fingers, cut them in, and just press as hard as you can, and just move your fingers in little circles. And then bring them up. And just continue working up your thigh, massaging those points. And this really helps your lymphatic system drain out any lymph that's being clogged in around your large intestine. So just work with yourself, with your thighs, and ensure that that lymph is just draining out as best as you can. Now, the reason that I'm saying go up and down is because it's really helpful to, to work these points when you've got either constipation or diarrhea. And when you are constipated, you want to work down the way, and that helps to flush the lymph out of your system, get everything moving down and out of your body. Um, if you're diuretic, then work the opposite way back. If you're fine and have neither, then go up and down. <laughs> um, just make sure that the lymph is, is nicely balanced. That's what you want. Okay. And you're gonna do the same on the other side, just working up and down your thigh. So starting at your knee, pressing in. And putting a fair bit of pressure, you might feel it's a little bit sore. If it is, then do it little and often. If you can handle a fair bit of pressure, then great. Donna even herself has been known to actually bruise people because really when it comes to the neurolymphatic system, if it's if it's sore, you need it. So go. Okay. So hopefully you've, you've worked that both sides. We're gonna do them both once more up and down. It's usually advised to go up and down either side about nine times and it can be a lot easier doing it in the shower with a bit of gel really putting a lot of pressure in 
as much as you can. Okay, so now that you've worked out all your points down your thighs, you might hopefully feel a little bit more clearer. It's really good to be able to do that each day, really clearing out your, your lymphatic system around your thighs. And then you are going to come to your alarm points. So you've got two alarms for your large intestine just either side of your belly button. And you're just going to press in and just work and massage there as much as you can. Just put a fair bit of pressure. You might want to just gently move your fingers in figures of eights. And usually when you've got large intestinal problems, these points will be sore if there has been a chronic issue there. So really putting a fair bit of pressure, and I'm going to jump back up to the, the table so you can really see where I'm working there. You can put a lot of pressure in to that point, really just working your core. Now the affirmation that goes along with your large intestine is I let go of fear, guilt, anger and shame and live fully in the now. So that's why I was saying at the very start of the class it's really time for you to set time for being in the now, being in the present, let go of whatever is going on next week or tomorrow really taking a bit of time out for yourself so just working those alarm points and coming off your stomach okay actually we're gonna go so you might have watched the small intestine class a few weeks ago and I'm gonna go over one of the exercises that I taught for that class because it's affects your large intestine as well as your small intestine. Um, it's simply resetting your ileocecal and Houston valves and they just, they're like sluice gates to let things move through freely between your, your intestines. So you're going to bring both of your hands onto um, either side of your pelvic bone and just put a little bit of pressure in and drag up to your ribcage. Again, just pushing in and pulling up and pushing in and pulling up one more time pushing in pulling up and then bring your thumbs to your ribcage and press down and just figure eight over your whole abdominal area really helping the energy in your abdomen to just cross over make you feel a little bit better sometimes pulling on the skin like that. If you've done it over clothes, then that's fine. If you can do it over skin directly, that's really good because it get, gets a myofascial release as well. I might call good to see you're joining in again. Great. Okay, so <laughs> this next little exercise that I'm going to go on to. I'm going to go get a spoon. If you can, please take a moment to go and get a stainless spoon. One of the first things that I learnt about Donna Eden was her love of spoons and um, it was very very weird and I didn't quite understand the, the science behind it um, and our source have got a great uh, article that explains the science probably better than, than I could but basically what I got from it was that your blood contains natural iron and when you are in a state of pain or when there's energy stagnant in your body that iron isn't quite balanced properly as it should do and one way to get it to balance is using a spoon so hopefully you've got your spoon nice and clean this is going to look really silly <laughs> so um if it does Hopefully we'll all look silly together. Um, basically your large intestine meridian it ends just on either point just underneath your nose. Your small intestine runs through your cheeks. So what you can do to help 
your large and small intestine meridian is simply by putting the spoon into your mouth and running it over your gums and your cheeks and just stretching out that area. It gives your whole gums a release. It's also really good if you've had toothache or gum ache. So I'm going to do it with me. Um, yeah, you can laugh if you want. So. So I spent a specific bit of time just up under here because I felt like that that's where I needed it most. But you can spend as long as you want stretching your, your face out with a spoon. I saw Dondi Dallin, which is Tita um, Titania's sister and Donna Eden's daughter, do it earlier on today. And I thought, well, I'm going to give it a shot. And it felt great. So I thought, I may as well show it to all of you. And hopefully you feel just as great as me doing it. The other thing you can do, if you don't have a garden, you can also use a spoon and just rub it over your feet. And that helps with giving your, your body that natural sense of grounding because the earth has that natural magnetic core and you connect with that magnetism. And when you are connecting with the core of the earth, you can... Um, boost your your own vitality and you can boost that energetic magnetic connection by rubbing your feet with a spoon. <laughs> um, so you can just do that together seeing as we've got the, the spoon so you've just put it in your mouth you're going to use it on your feet now if you if you want to use it again make sure you you wash your your hands so i'm just going to jump up on the table and i'm going to give my my feet a good rub So this doesn't um, work directly with your large intestine, but it just gives your whole um, energetic system a bit of a boost. It helps you with grounding. And, uh, that's always good for, for letting go of things. If you're really grounded in the present moment, you can let go of the past. So just using the spoon, just rubbing all over the base of your foot and on the top as well. So now we're going to go on to the neurovasculars. Now I have talked about this spot right at the top of the head quite a few times now. It relates to quite a few different organs. Um, so you've got your lungs, your small intestine and your large intestine and your heart are all connected in with this neurovascular point at the top of your head. So this is probably one of the reasons why I keep on going back to it when I'm saying hold this point during meditations when I had this point held together here with um, with the thoughts about grief, it was really, really powerful for me. I had been dealing with the loss of one of my ferrets and one of my colleagues was holding these points for about 20 minutes, just holding here and, and allowing me to talk through my grief. And I would say if you have somebody there holding these points and talking about what you want to let go of or what you've had to let go of can be really powerful. Um, if you don't have anybody, then you can always just speak to yourself out loud or record yourself, or you can just hold the points, but perhaps um, listen to meditation later or think about what you'd like to, to journal after you kind of let the, the energy shift within your body. So hopefully that's been helpful for you. I'm just going to hold here for a little while. And um, earlier on this week, I posted in my group the Meridian Balancing Tips. I was asking people what it is that they feel like they need to let go of. And um, got some really useful responses. Personally, I got rid of tons of clothes because I just did a, a big decluttering. 
and um, looking forward to going and dropping that off in the charity store when they come out. Um, but some people just wanted to get rid of emotional shit, which is great. You know, I really hope that these classes help you do that. Um, you know, what what is it you feel like letting go of today? And, uh, yeah, these points can be really helpful for, for letting you move on, letting you let go of whatever it is. And, uh, yeah, the affirmation for this one is a big one because letting go of fear, guilt, anger, and shame. Oh, shame, that's that's a that's a biggie there. I'm, I'm sure a lot of people um, holding on to shame. And, uh, yeah, just what... What do you feel shameful about? <laughs> Michael's just pulled me up for saying shit. And, uh, no, I'm not holding on to that shame. Not letting it get to me at all. <laughs> um, yeah, that's... Uh, I'm living in the present moment and, uh, yeah, growing. Definitely growing. So, what do you... What do you feel you need to let go of? Um, is there any anger that has been bothering you that you need to let go of? <sighs> what about guilt? Are you feeling guilty? Do you need to hold on to it? No. Or do you feel that you're holding on to judgment for somebody else that, that you feel is guilty? What do you want to let go of just now? Just hold on to this point. And just And usually after I've been holding these points for a little while, I start to feel pulsing or, or kind of a slight heat or tingle through my fingers. So you might feel the same. Or um, you might start to feel an energetic shift through your abdominal area, because this is a large intestine point. Or you might feel possibly your heart or your small intestine, or even you might just be breathing a bit deeper because it is such an important point and you're just bringing blood to the front of your head by holding the main stomach neurovasculars on, on your forehead. And just breathing and keeping yourself feeling peaceful and equal. Okay. So, I'm going to move on to the neurovascular, no, the large intestine source point. Now the large intestine source point is a point that you should not massage if you are pregnant. So if you are pregnant, just continue holding here and I will let you know when to move on. Okay, so the source point, we're going to just come to this little webbing in between your hands. Now, for the majority of people, it will be sore. If it's not sore, there's something not quite right, <laughs> okay? So, really press in that whole webbing area as much as you can. If you're feeling that it's not sore, then we're going to do a little thing together um, to shift it. Um, I had had my, my energy medicine class with Prune Harris, and she was teaching us teaching this point to certain people and she was saying that you know it should be sore in everybody and then one man in the group was like oh no it's not sore in me my energy must be fine and she came over to him and uh, unfroze the point and he went ah she went, yep that's that's what it's supposed to be like <laughs> okay um and the reason why it's sore is because it's so so powerful um and you're letting go of so much stuff and um, so massaging in that whole webbing area so it's like right in the middle that web just between your, your thumb and your, your index finger it's really good if you've got a headache um, for clearing stuff out I the one and only time that I've actually had acupuncture done it was here um, I had 
fallen into a um, tent post at the Eden Festival and um, yeah, they, they, there was an acupuncturist on hand um, at the Eden Festival, it's quite amazing and uh, he, he got me got me back and capable of, of walking again which was great okay so if you're finding that the energy is is not is sore then just kind of massage it lightly i mean you don't really want to cause yourself pain you're just wanting to get energy shifted but i was just saying it's it's likely to be so if it's if it's not sore then what you want to do is take your your hand like so place your your palm flat and then flip it over back and forth a few times even if it is sore just do this anyway what it does is it shifts the magnetism in your system so you've got either side of your hand there's a slightly different electrical charge um, between the north and south side of your hand so working this way you are shifting the energetic charge between either side so you're just going to do that there and then press in once more, see if it's sore or if it's changed at all. Actually, in my case, that's slightly lessened the pain there, which is grand. And we're going to do the same on the other side. Okay, just back and forth. Okay, and then massaging in there. If you are a pregnant person, then massaging here is not a great idea, but you can always just do this back and forth to shift the energies there because you're not putting direct pressure on it. So that would be okay. Um, one of the reasons why you're advised not to do this really, um, if you're one of the people that kind of tends to wring your hand when you're stressed out, it's really bad because <laughs> um, it can actually start a miscarriage. So um, don't, don't. Don't keep doing that. <laughs> now we're going to get on to flushing the meridian. So, um, the large intestine meridian starts at the, the end of your this index finger. So you're just going to massage just the, the tip of it back and forth. And you give it a nice wee pull and you stretch out your, your finger there. And then you can do the same on the other side. And then just coming back to this, the, the end of the large intestine meridian, the end is just at the flare of the nose. So just put one finger on, just if you if you see where the line is from the, the nose down to the mouth, just one finger on one side and one finger on the other, and you're just going to gently pull that apart. Okay, just giving a little bit of a myofascial release and the same on the other side. Okay, and then just come into the centre and pull them apart. Okay. So now that you've got the, the beginning and end points of the, the meridian working and just kind of moving along, what you're going to do is flushing the meridian. So to get a meridian cleared, you're going to go backwards on it, first of all. So like I was saying, large intestine is all about letting go of things. So think about what you want to let go of. Bring your hand to the flare of your nose and just come down to your mouth, around the outside, down your neck, over your shoulder and right off your index finger and just think about anything that you want to let go of, just dropping that like in a way, okay? And let's in the now. So what is the now? What's that mean for you? What have you got to be grateful for right now? And pull that up your arm, up your neck, your mouth, and out to the flare of the nose. And just do that a couple more times. So what are you grateful for? And 
Okay, and the same on the other side. So you're just gonna pull off anything that you don't want to hold on to. Anything from yesterday or earlier on today, it doesn't serve you anymore. Just pull it right off your finger, flick it away. And then drawing from your index finger, back up your arm, up your neck, and your mouth, and out clear of the nose. Up one more time, straight up. And once more. Okay, and just gently tap in there. Okay, now your um, large intestine meridian, when you look at the Chinese meridian wheel, um, large intestine meridian energy flows into stomach. So to get that flow starting and shifting, all you can do is just press two fingers on either side of the flare of the nose and just underneath your cheeks. And just take a few deep breaths there. And you remember your stomach is all about trusting in the mystery of life. So you can trust that the present moment is fantastic. And just tap in or draw figures of eight is just around your whole face. Okay, now we're gonna get on to a little bit of shiatsu. Um so at the start I was just massaging down my thighs. One of the great things about shiatsu is that it's a little bit more vigorous and um the shiatsu class that I was at, they just got us to go down either side like so, really just breaking up the muscles there. Okay, same on the other side. And there's a great series of shiatsu stretches called Maho Sho stretches, and there's six that uh, really help different organs. The one that I'm going to teach you today, it helps both your lung and your large intestine. Now I'm quite hyper mobile in my shoulders so if you feel like you can't go as far as me, don't worry, I am, I've been working it quite well. Just go as far as you're comfortable with. Um, the first couple of times that I did this, I felt like my fingers were really um, tingly. So if you feel like that, let go. Uh, you don't want to put too much pressure on your chest, okay? So all you're going to do is bring your hands behind your back and just clasp around so you've got, you're gripping your thumb. And just take a note of which thumb is on top, okay? And you're going to bring your hips, your feet just a little bit further than hip width apart. Bring your hands behind your back. Take a nice deep breath in. And bend forward. And bring your hands as far forward as they can go. Okay. And then you're going to do the same this time. Bring the opposite thumb over the top. Okay. Again, deep breath in. And I'm going to do that a couple more times. See if you can go a little bit further with your arms. So I just notice actually if there is a different thumb on top. Okay. So just bring your shoulders back, breathing in and out. And then swapping over once more. Come on top and breathing in. Okay. Okay. 
happy. And you might find, actually, that the more that you do all the other large intestine and lung exercises, the more you'll be capable of going a little bit further forward with your shoulders each time. And just, you might find as well that your breathing becomes deeper as well, so you can hold it down for longer. So it can be really interesting just to see how all the different en energy exercises can influence what you do with your yogic stretching and so on. Okay, so now we're going to come on to your seed point. So small intestine seed point is um, it's called large intestine protein. So look, I'm going to take this off so you can actually see the, the difference on my muscle a little bit. Not that I've got much muscle, but you can see a little bit. So basically, what, um, what you're focusing on is, um, so if I tense it up a little bit, you can see the slight difference. There's kind of a little divot just here, kind of halfway up. So if you work from your your arm slightly down, you'll be able to feel if you tense your, your muscle, just where the end of that muscle is, coming in a little bit, you might feel a little tender point, and that's where your large intestine 14 is. And the reason that I wanted to bring this point up today is because this point specifically relates to swelling of your eyes, and we're just about to come into hay fever season. So, if you want to not have to deal with taking antihistamines, this point is a really great one to know. So you can just massage it gently, or you can put your thumb and index finger on either side and just stretch it out in all directions. Okay, you can just tap it, or you can take a little crystal. So I've got, I always use these little glass crystals and just use it to heal the auric field because that point is actually really tender for me. So working with it with the in the auric field just feels a little bit easier and nicer. Or you can do the, the hand flipping like I was doing on the other source point as well. Okay. And I'm gonna finish off just tracing some figure eights over that point and then come to the other side. So just going from, so if you tense your arm up just going straight down and coming slightly inwards towards your body. You'll find just the, where the, the end of that muscle is. And just kind of work around that area until you kind of find a, a sore point and that will be, yeah, <laughs> that'll be where you've hit your, your large intestine protein. And the thing about acupressure points is they're slightly different in every body. Um, just because we're all so unique, um, it's really useful to look up YouTube videos or to look up specific um, acupressure points online. And really, you can always go with what that says in the book, but you more often than not will find it with touch and feel. Um, for myself, I found it more because that was the point that was sore that needed work, rather than, okay, I know it's supposed to be here. <laughs> um, so. You can just take finger and thumb and just stretch it apart. Okay. Okay. <sighs> now we're going to go on to three pointing the large intestine meridian. Large intestine, the first point that you want to be working with is. Um, right at the base of your index finger here okay and you're going to hold that together with your bladder point just underneath your pinky toe okay you're going to hold here and here okay so this is large intestine 2 together with bladder 66 okay and this helps to sedate your large intestine and what sedation does is essentially allows for energy to be let go of. Anything that was stagnant and built up, it's going to be all pushed out now. 
um, the way that I look at acupressure points. When you are three pointing a meridi meridian, it's like working with a set of um, traffic lights or working on a motorway. You are easing off traffic jams and getting energy or cars moving in places where there's nothing going on so that you've got that balance going on. So sedation, you could imagine that as being like um, a whole traffic jam going on and your, your colon's all blocked up. So yeah, this can be really helpful if you've got any problems either with constipation or with diarrhea. It can be really helpful to do this and hold on to you. And the affirmation that goes along with large intestine is um, I let go of fear, guilt, anger and shame and live fully in the now and together with bladder that makes me feel joyful, hopeful and fully alive. So what makes you feel joyful, hopeful and fully alive just now? And what what do you feel like you can you need to let go of in order to let those feelings flow so many of us are holding on to fears is that fear stopping you from being able to feel fully alive so what what needs to be let go of? so you're just holding the end of your index finger together with your second toe you're going to hold here for three minutes and uh, we're going to do that on either side and you might feel a sense of tingling or a sense of uh, heat or perhaps cold or pulsations people that work with acupressure points find different things all the time so it's always great to get feedback and find out what you feel when you hold them Notice I'm starting to shake. That's good. That means energy is moving. Okay, well, I've so I've done the left-hand side sedation points. I'm going to move on to your right-hand side. So just bring your fingers, um, two fingers and a thumb together, just underneath the end of your index finger, and then bring two fingers and a thumb together, just underneath your pinky toe. Okay, you're going to hold that on the, the right-hand side for a little while. So today I am wearing white and silver again because large intestine is one of the metal element meridians and metal relates to white and silver. So if you're going to be joining in with the meditation this evening, I picked out some really nice crystals. My crystals have been out in the garden being charged for the past few days and um, yeah, gave me some interesting messages about working with angels. Um, so we'll see what comes up. Um, if you're interested, you can you can join me at eight, and hopefully you can go on a interesting journey that will help you and uh, let you let go of any difficulties. So just now you're holding on to large intestine together with bladder. 
bladder relates to the color blue, so you can imagine yourself thinking of a, a blue sky with some white, perhaps grey clouds. I'm just thinking about what that makes you feel. Just appreciating the expanse of sky. That feeling of freedom. And once you've held on to the sedation points for a little while, you're then going to move on to the strengthening points. So this is getting any lagging energy, any cars that are not moving along your energetic motorways properly to shift along the way they should. So in order to do that, you're going to come to stomach 36 together with large intestine 11. So your fingers are currently just underneath your index finger. Move straight up your arm to where the, the ball of your elbow joint is. And just come out. Just You're going to hold just outside of the bone together with this point just. So if you bring your fingers just to the edge of your, your knee, the base of your knee, three fingers, and then hold where the three, third finger goes. I'm going to hold these points together, okay? okay? And just hold here for a little while. So large intestine, sometimes, well, the reason why you hold these points together is the affirmation that goes along with stomach is I trust in the mystery of life. So sometimes you feel that like you can't let go of things because you don't trust that it'll be okay if you do. So this just really helps to build that trust. So what trust do you want to build in yourself so that you can let go of your guilt, anger and shame in the feeling now? <sighs> really building up that sense of understanding of your own energetic body and how you can move things forward. Mm. And again, I'm starting to shake. Yeah, that's quite interesting. Again, you have to let go of fear and um, you have so many different things that kind of happen to you when you're working with the energy and shifting just happens to be one of mine. <laughs> I just got so used to it. It's fun. <sighs> it's interesting. Okay, so I think that's been about three minutes on that side. You might feel pulsing or heat or tingling again. I'm starting to get that just now, so I'm going to move over to the other side. So just bring your fingers to the end of your knee, third finger down, that's where you're holding on to your stomach, 36. And then coming to just the edge of your elbow bone on the inside. And holding it. And as you hold here, this uh, stomach, this, the color that relates to stomach is yellow. And uh, I like to think of the yellow sun. You know, sometimes the sun can look yellow and sometimes it can look white. Um, yeah, it's quite nice for me. Yeah. Or you might want to focus on the, the yellow flower behind your head, like that one. 
Think about things that you appreciate that you have on white. You might notice gurgles in your abdominal area. Just see how you can feel different shifts going on there energetically. Thankfully, the control points for large intestine can actually be held together. So, yeah, move on to them. So we did sedating, now we're doing strengthening, and then you move on to control. So to control it, all you do is simply place two fingers either side of your wrist. And Two on that side and two on this side. So I'm show you a little bit more close up. You've got two fingers, so yeah, you can do it that way. So you've got a finger on either side and so you can either use your fingers or you can use your thumbs, whichever. I'm going to use my finger and my thumb together, holding like that. And that way you're you're holding on to large intestine and small intestine. So, this is all about being decisive. So, your small intestine points relate to decisiveness. So, I want to thank you for deciding to, to join me today. And I hope you can be decisive enough to come back. This is uh, really great to just finish off letting go of your fear, guilt, anger and shame. You can make that decision now. Know what you want, be more decisive. I'm going to run through quickly everything that I had done just before I was doing the three points acupressure work. Just take a few nice deep breaths. Just do a little body scan to see how you feel now compared to when you first joined the class, whether or not that was just a few minutes ago or if that was right at the start. Just breathe. Okay, so I'm just going to quickly run through once more what to do, what I what I have been up to. So, massaging your thighs, so really working in up the midline of the thighs to help your lymphatic flow, either just massaging with your fingers or your thumbs or really giving you a good slap. That really helps the lymphatic system. Your alarms on either side of your belly button are really good to work here when you've got a, a chronic problem with your large intestine. Aleocecal and Houston valves are either side of your abdomen so just pull up three times or four times even and down once and you can use a spoon put it in your gums and stretch them out um, and so in the meditation at eight o'clock I'm going to ask you to hold the top of your head together with the front of your head to help with your large intestine, your vascular points. Okay. And your source points right in here. So you might find actually having, having done the three pointing that that's not sore. That's, that's actually quite interesting. It's not, not sore and I don't think it is frozen at all either now but it's it's not so for me to work just now so hopefully it's the same for you it's a little, maybe a tiny bit tender if i put a lot of pressure in it but it's nowhere near as far as it was at first okay 
So if you want to flush your large intestine meridian, all you do is come from the index finger up your arm, over your mouth to the flare of the nose, and then back down again three times. Okay, And you would do that on both sides of your body. So up your arm, outside of your mouth to the flare of the nose, and then back down. Okay. And then you've got your Shiatsu Mahosho stretch. So just clasp your, your thumbs together, take a nice deep breath in, bring your shoulders back and bend forward. Okay, just notice, notice if even just doing that little um, shift there makes a difference and then just clasping your, your thumbs the other side, you might notice that you can go a little bit further after doing the three-pointing would be interesting. So just nice deep breath in and out. And come back up. Okay, and then your seed point is just about halfway down your arm, just where your top muscle ends towards the inside. Okay, and just massaging in there. You can do both sides at the same time. Okay, so that is all for today. I really hope you have enjoyed it. Thank you very much for listening. Bye-bye.